Do you know how to use checkbox objects when developing desktop application using Python Kivi? In this video tutorial we will learn how to use the checkbox object. There are two desktop apps on GitHub that contain checkbox objects. We will use the get version feature to transfer the first checkbox application in the GitHub account to the computer. I will share the address of the project with you in the description of the video. Use the copied address in the get version feature and click the clone button. There is a Python code file in the project. Some libraries have been transferred to the project file. Kivi and app libraries were transferred to create desktop application. Widget, label, checkbox and grid layout libraries have been imported into the desktop application to create a checkbox object. A class has been created for the checkbox object and synchronized with the grid layout library. A function was created using the keyword quarks. By using the super parameter, it was stated that the self parameter can be used in all objects in the class. It is stated that there will be two columns in the application. The names of the checkbox object in the first column are designed as options in the second column. The name of the first checkbox object has been determined as mail. When the application starts, it is determined by the active argument that the checkbox object will be active or inactive. It is stated that both checkbox objects will be active at the beginning. Objects were added to the application using the add widget function. A class was created and synchronized with the app library to create the desktop app. A build function has been created inside the class. The checkbox class is synchronized with the return argument. The desktop class is started using the run function. Run the codes to see how the app works. Launched application containing three checkbox objects. Initially, all checkbox objects are active. You can manually change the state of checkbox objects. So, can we assign a task when the checkbox objects are active or inactive? In our second application, we will learn how to do this. Transfer the second project using the get version feature as in the first project. I will share the project code with you in the description of the video. There is one Python code file in the second project. The libraries transferred to the project code file are the same as the first project. As in the first project, a class has been created for the checkbox object. In this project, there is only the mail checkbox object. There is also a label object that checks whether the checkbox object is selected. Initially, the mail checkbox object is active. Therefore, the text checkbox is on is displayed in the label object. Checkbox and label objects have been added to the desktop application using the add widget function. We can assign a task when the checkbox object is selected using the bind function. Specify a function name with the keyword active to assign a task. Create a function with the specified function name. You can determine whether the checkbox object is active or inactive by using the is active keyword in the function. If the checkbox object is active, set the text of the label object to checkbox is on. Using the print command, print on the console screen that the checkbox object is active. If the checkbox object is not active, set the text of the label object to checkbox is off. Using the print command, print on the console screen that the checkbox object is not active. Desktop application creation class and run function are used as in the other example. Run the project. When the checkbox is not active, the text specified in the label object on the desktop and on the console screen is printed. When the checkbox is active, the text specified in the label object on the desktop and on the console screen is printed. In this tutorial video we learned how to use the checkbox object. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. You can also support us by subscribing to the Turtle Code YouTube channel and other social media accounts.